coming up on the first pitch. And on the hill in this one, number 68. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Next offering in there for a strike. It's a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one two. Out to short, De La Cruz. One out in the top of the first. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Getting guys across the plate, not exactly a forte for them this year as their offense is in the bottom third of the league and runs scored. Boogie becomes extremely frustrating, and then what happens is guys press, especially in run scoring opportunities and situations. And on top of that, I mean, you really make it harder on your pitcher. He feels like he's got to be perfect to go out there and win a ball game, or at least to put the team in a position to win a ball game. So they've got to figure out a way to relax, get those runners across when they have them on, and especially when they're in scoring position. Fires over to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Batting third, the center field, number 33. Two outs, bases empty. This is J.J. Blade. Two outs, bases empty. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Langoliers. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Two outs. There's the swing and a miss. One and two. Count. a one two and that's two, downstairs two. and outside that one to first and it goes just foul really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next cuts and misses it's a strikeout one left for Oakland now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, and today's starting pitcher, Grant Holman. What do you have on him? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. The biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy loses confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. And now here is Ellie De La Cruz. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's off the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and lifted it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. One one now. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. One, two. That missed by a lot. Now two and two.
the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right that there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And now, TJ Friedel. And no, another that's ball. Outside. ball. Two on, one out. That that's one misses. And that's ball three. Spencer Steer up next for the Reds. And a 3-1 on the way. Chopped left side. Hernias throws the first in time. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base. If they do that, then they can create a whole lot of havoc on the base pass, get runners around the score, and then that's going to get you some good pitches to hit as well. So a very athletic team. We should be in for a treat in this one. It's not the standard approach that we see in today's game, but it does work for them offensively. Two on, two outs. We got him! That ends the frame. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. And the right hander deals. No, that man, one man. misses. Two and two. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. Left hand batter waits. On the ground to third. Zips it across and quickly run away in the second. Now the left fielder. That one hit to right. Pulls it down and there's two gone. The second base. So digging in, Zach Gellar. Two down, nobody on. Out towards right center field. On the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at Great American Way Ballpark, go, bottom go, of the right. second. In now for the, the Reds, way, way. Santiago Espino. And a pitch. Slapped foul. Popped up. And there's one away. The first base Dom Smith stands in. Get 
gets the outside corner with that one. A one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Second inning here, no score. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Well, that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Two outs. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Around first, digging for two. The throw in, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We move to the third with no score. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the rookie third baseman, Daryl Hernandez. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, yeah. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Liner, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Pretty good fastball location down and in on the corner. But that was just a nice job to handle it and hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time. Though. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next up it's the first year shortstop. Rudder takes off. Liner stopped at first. Takes it to the bag and settles and doubles him off. Man, those are tough ones all the way around. As a hitter, you feel you did everything right and kind of got robbed. As a runner, you're in a really tough position trying to read the ball and get back. And as the first baseman, it's a split-second reaction to catch the line drive as you're coming off the bag. But he did a great job of having the awareness to know he could get two outs, not just the one. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Stays alive. Two outs. Rip towards third. Over to Smith, and the inning is over half of the third coming up no score bottom of the inning and stepping in is the speedy number 16 kicks and deals and right back to the mound tosses the first leadoff man retired here in the third now no left field so the lineup flips over. India. Now, Jonathan India. Out towards left center. Lede sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's two down. Now, Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. And here it comes. The shortstop takes the ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. That's ripped. Base hit. And that extends the inning.
wasting no time. He's two for two now, now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So a man aboard, Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Coleman checks on in first. Hey. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. The one-one. Hard hit left side. They take the force out. Out number three. Reds leave one. Still no score. Start of the fourth. Off, now it's going to be Brent right Rooker. Brent. Brent Rooker. And the pitch. And now oh. two and one. No, that ball. Is, that's the ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And yeah, there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Go ahead, run on base. J.J. Blade now at the plate. All tied up, top half of inning number four. Roll to short, could be two. There's one. On the Smith, or two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. The middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. Shea Langoliers, up next for the A's. Two down, nobody on. Great on that fastball. Pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fourth inning underway, no score. In the air, left field. That one gets down for a hit, and that keeps the inning alive. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. Next to hit, Seth Brown. Foul ball there. Langoliers, the runner at first with two gone. And there's a ball. The A's strand one, and we are still scoreless. Ready to go, bottom four, and here is T.J. Friedel. And the righty deals. Two one. out front for strike two. Now there's a you certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swings through that and it's a strikeout. And one away. Now it's the DH. Spencer Steer. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. A base hit. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield.
Man at first with one gone. Next for Cincinnati, Santiago Espino. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Now it's Dominic Smith. And oh. another ball. Two one. Two outs. And one in scoring position. And it's second. In the air, foul off first. Brown drifts towards it. And that is the inning. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the left fielder, number 28. In the air, out towards right center. Espinal makes the catch. One up, one down. Now, that second base. Now, here is Zach Geloff. One out, base is empty. Pulls that one foul. <laughs> Sets him down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now the third baseman, Daryl Hernandez. To the right side. Throws the first. That's the third out. And the A's are gone in order. They still trail 1 0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, number 16. The wide to kick the pitch. That's a ball. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Joey Estes appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Number 40 getting loose as well. The 2-1. That one the other way. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more now likely to get something you can handle. You really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Jonathan Indy at the plate. That oh. one missed. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Runner at first with no outs here. In the air, right field. Sizing this one up. 
Rooker makes the play. The bat, the, bat. the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Man at first, one away. Coleman checks the runner, dives yeah, back, and he's out. Unless you're really thinking about stealing second base, you should not get picked off by a right-handed pitcher right there. Two outs. And oh, a curve outside. misses outside. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And we're back. And now number 12. Man. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, that's one that stuff right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Come back into the mound. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One and two now. Upstairs. Not Full close count. with that one. Full count now. On the ground, right side. And that one handled. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So two down now, and here is Brent Rooker. The Reds up by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. And another ball. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I now, love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Man at second here with two away. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. And a count one and two. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Joey Estes on for his 20th appearance of the year. Well, one run game. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson. On a strike, the pitch. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. The 
one two. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Slider Whoa. misses outside. Two and two. The pitch. Two and right. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside well, fastball. Well, really well, locked well, him well, up. And well, as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking well, for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, well, that's a that's really down. nice pitch. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And now two and two. Movement in the bullpen. Joe Boyle getting loose out there. Righty delivers. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Payoff pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. and a miss got him to go up the ladder for the K chance to strike out the side now the you talk Number about seven. the benefits Just the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves knowing that they can miss the bat tell you what that's huge no, and can change the ball game two balls one strike the wind of the pitch swing yeah. and a miss it's two, two, two and two In the air, left side, on his way over, and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the third out of the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Buck Farmer. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game, and now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. that off to the left and we'll do it again also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches and a foul ball he stays alive Ball is foul and the pressure is building. And downstairs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So up next, Seth Brown. Now he catches the corner for a strike. Wind of the pitch. Just no, that missed. That's the ball. Trying to hold a one run a lead count. here at the top half of inning number seven. Ah! Got it. Ah! Well, 
This is exactly what you're looking for from your bullpen arm when you roll them out there to start a new inning, hold on to a small lead. Just such a stabilizing effect. And not only get the first two hitters, but to strike them out. That gives everyone on defense a big boost of confidence. Swings through that one for strike two. One and two. Out. Yeah, there's nope. a ball. ball. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, he'll see another. Righty to the plate. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Two outs. Now a pop up on the infield. Stevenson hauls it in to end the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. That's the third. Boots it. And he's going to oh, make it to hey. first. And we'll see how they score it. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Dominic Smith will hit next. At the belt and fires. Bunting and he pops it up. Gelloff. Takes it himself for one. Now that is the second base. Rosario. Next for Cincinnati, Ahmed Rosario. One run game, one out, one on. Next offering is in for a strike. Man. I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Now the third baseman. Kicks and fires. And it two is and two one. and one. And a pitch. That's a laser base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a chance for Jonathan India. Fair ball. Around third. One run is in. The relay throw. And they take a three-run lead. No, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And it's scored position with two away. Ellie De La Cruz digs in now. Man, it's second. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here comes a pitch. Two balls, oh. two strikes to count with two outs. Two, two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Hit hard. That gets through. Headed for the plate. 
Got a long throw home, but it's offline. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Tying on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. On the pitch now for Oakland, number 40. number 40. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Runner at first with two away. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. The 1 1 on the ground. Foul. And that's just foul. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. Ball. His quick release is unreal. Dela Cruz off of first with two away. Rip. Got him swinging. So they get three runs on three hits, one error, and a runner left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Reds four and the A's nothing. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tony Santion. Now he's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. So digging in, Zach Gellar. The, the Athletics team. in striking yeah. distance, but have some yeah, work yeah. to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the right hander deals. That's and ball. another ball. Action in the pen down there. Sam Mole, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Wilson also throwing. The pitch. Ah. Right through ah. there. First out in the top of the eighth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off, two and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Hey! Oh, hit too much on that one. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Good eye right there. That's inside. Oh, Three balls and a strike. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two down, nobody on. Right hater gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Right handed reliever. Late that time, it's strike two. Well, he's going to steal second. You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way. So the a swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. One left for Oakland. They trail it here for nothing. Back here at Great American Ballpark. And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. Next no, offering is down low. 
Now two balls and a strike. And that's, that's outside. Ball. And now the count filled up three and two. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Three and two now. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, tough night at the dish. Watching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And a ground ball to first. Into the outfield base hit. He was definitely oh, late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. One gone runner at first. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit for the Reds. Steer, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground left side, six, four. Three double That's play, right. and the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Reds four, and the A's nothing. New pitcher on here, Sam Mole. And he's done a great job yeah. keeping the ball in the park this year. Mole. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And now the right fielder, Brent right Rooker. Brent Rooker. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swings and misses. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. J.J. Bladé, the next to hit. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the ninth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a one-two again. And they'll do it again. And now the lefty. Ah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying now to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, yeah. Very hittable location. Yeah. He found a way to just get it by him. Two outs. And a swing is. And just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch him. Up the middle. And he beats it. He's safe. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps him alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last minute spark. Next up for the A's, Seth Brown. The A's down to their final strike. That's that one missed. The pitch. On the ground to third, and it's through for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now bat at the left fielder, Daz, Daz Cameron. Cameron. A 
Alexis Diaz taking over on the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Now the left fielder. They're down to the final strike. One, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. One and two here. Good job to fight that one off. Bounce it off, still one and two. Two on, two outs. Guys, Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.